Gibbs, that will do. Fuck, mark my words. Consider them marked. On your way. Think again, Miss Swan. And to see to it that any man who sails under a pirate flag or wears a pirate brand gets what he deserves. A short drop and a sudden stop. Lieutenant Norrington, I appreciate your fervor, but I'm, uh, I'm concerned about the effect this subject will have upon my daughter. It's most likely the powder magazine. Merchant vessels run heavy. Everyone's thinking it. I'm just saying it. Pirates. <laughs> There's no proof of that. Aye, sir. Heave to and take in sail. Launch the boats. Take him below. Hey, you look lovely, Elizabeth. I uh, apologize if I seem forward, but I must speak my mind. Uh, this promotion... Uh, a marriage to a fine woman. Fine woman, Elizabeth. I can't breathe. Yes, I, I'm a bit nervous myself. Elizabeth? Elizabeth! I believe thanks are in order. Had a brush with the East India Trading Company, did we? Pirate? Let's fetch some irons. Jack Sparrow, isn't it? Captain Jack Sparrow, if you please, sir. Well, I don't see your ship. Captain? He said he'd come to the truth. These are his, sir. Uh... No additional shots nor powder. A compass that doesn't point north. And I half expected it to be made of wood. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. I really must protest. Carefully, Lieutenant. One good deed is not enough to redeem a man of a lifetime of wickedness. Indeed. Finally. Ah! Come here, we don't have all day. You will always remember. Gillette. Mr. Sparrow has a dawn appointment with the gallows. I would hate for him to miss it. You've assisted in the capture of a dangerous fugitive. You will always remember this is the day that Ghost escaped. Take him away. Well, she has had a very trying day. Mm. Ghastly weather, don't you think? That Jack Sparrow. Ask him where it is. No. The pirates who invaded this fort left Sparrow locked in his... Governor, we will establish them. Good enough! You are a blacksmith. This is not the moment for rash actions. Do not make the mistake of thinking you are the only man here who cares for Elizabeth. Commodore! That is without doubt the worst pirate I have ever seen. Sailors, back to the interceptor! Now! Set topsails and clear up this mess. With the wind a quarter astern, we won't catch them. I don't need to catch them. Just get them in range of the long nines. We ought to fire on our own ships, huh? I'd rather see her at the bottom of the ocean than in the hands of a pirate. Commodore! The boy's fate is regret. So is his decision to engage in pirates. Our goal is to check my profession. Likely she'll be able to make good time. By remembering that I serve others, Mr. Sparrow, not only myself. Commodore, I beg you, please. Gift. You will accompany these fine men to the helm and provide us with a bearing to Ila de Muerto. Do I make myself clear? 
I don't care for the situation. I go in, I convince Barbosa to send his men out with their little boats. What do you have to lose? Nothing I'd lament being rid of. Now, to be quite honest with you, there's still a slight risk to those aboard the Dauntless, which includes the future Mrs. Commodore. The ship is ours, gentlemen. Commodore Noring. Commodore. Endure some manner of ill-conceived escape attempt, but not. For I granted you clemency, and this is how you thank me. He's a pirate. If all I have, you forget your place, Turner. Lower your weapons. For goodness' sake, put them down. So this is where your heart truly lies, then. I want you to know that I was rooting for you. Know that. This is a beautiful sword. I would expect the man who made it to show the same care and devotion in every aspect of his life. Oh, I think we can afford to give him one day's head start. <laughs> 